Cruz. What is your thoughts on people saying that Anthony Joshua is overrated? Um, yes, I hear people saying it, but to me, um, it's just it's just rhetoric. You know, to me, it's just something that people use to probably try to further insult or beat Anthony Joshua while he's down. And the reason why I say it, because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. AJ was not overrated ever. In order for AJ to be overrated, there had to be something that people were praising him about. And people have psychoanalyzed and ridiculed his performances ever since Klitschko and even before that. He was always questioned of being chinny, not having no heart, fighting scary, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing what to do. Every fight that Anthony Joshua has been in, damn near, has quote unquote been his last fight or he better win this one or he's done. Does that sound like it happens to somebody who's been overrated? You know what I'm saying? So. Anthony Joshua could never be overrated because people had to be loving and praising what he's been doing. And he's been getting nothing but ridicule and the shit end of the stick. So anybody saying that Anthony Joshua is overrated is being disingenuous. They playing a mind game that, that totally doesn't make no sense. Name one person, with myself included, name one person that has set up on camera that has talked about how in love with AJ's ring IQ they are. Or how savvy of a fighter AJ is or something like that. Nobody has ever spoke like that about AJ, myself included. People don't gloat on AJ's skills and stuff like that. People like the potential of what they see and what he could be. And the fact that he moves with no hesitation and he gives you what you want. A guy that's doing something like that. Like I said, it's a mystery to me, but I don't get how you don't cheer for him. You know what I'm saying? But... People are more fan of AJ the man. They're not so much in love with his skill set. I'm not in love with AJ's skill set. I've never been in love with his skill set. That's why it's something that you don't hear me talk about. Like, oh, AJ skills this, AJ skills that. You ain't never heard me say it, and I ain't never heard nobody else say it. It first takes those type of compliments and accolades for you even get to the point where people can call you overrated. But if people have been ridiculing you, downplaying you, he doesn't get no credit for nothing that he's done. He, he has one of the, has one of the, he has the best resume in the heavyweight division. That's questionable now. Uh, that's only because of Uzi. So I would say he has the best resume. I say Uzi, as far as the heavyweight division, has the most powerful, in my opinion. Because he beat Daniel, Fury, and Joshua. He has the most powerful. But as far as the best resume in the heavyweight division, it's Anthony Joshua. And he's fought nothing but the best in his division. And yet it still, it was never good enough. People never complimented him. People never, you know, like that's not how that rolls. Like you can't say somebody was overrated when he's been ridiculed the whole time. That doesn't match. Maybe people don't know what overrated is. So let me give you a couple examples of overrated. Overrated would be Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? That's overrated. Overrated would be Vasily Lomachenko. Very good fighter, but nowhere near the level that they try to put him at. Overrated is what they did to Tyson Fury after he beat Deontay Wilder. Now look at the kind of praise and the accolades that Tyson Fury got for beating a one-trick pony. Anthony Joshua has beaten fighters six, seven times better than Deontay Wilder. He's ever been compared to Ali? Have anybody been saying how great he is? How anybody Has anybody been saying how Ali couldn't stand a chance against AJ and nothing like that? No. That's what you call being overrated. You know what I'm saying? The way that they pushed Tyson Fury right after he beat Deontay Wilder, that was overrated somebody. Another example is overrated was Errol Spence. Good fighter, but nowhere near what they thought or said that he was. But once again, great fighter, but nowhere near it. That's overrated. AJ ain't never been in the lights to be gloated on like 
a Errol Spence, a Canelo Alvarez, or a uh, Vasily Lomachenko. People ain't never talked about him like that. You know, so anybody is saying that AJ is overrated, like I said, they being disingenuous. You know what I'm saying? Because he was never rated high to begin with. It was always questions. He's chinny. He's mentally weak. He can't fight. He's stiff. He's a robot. He's this. He's that. How, how, how do you get to be overrated with people saying stuff about you like that? You know what I'm saying? So to me, that's just a ploy somebody used to try to further degrade him and put him down or something like that. But he's definitely never been in the lights in which Canelo, Errol Spence, or Vasily Lomachenko was talked about. He, he's never been in that light. We just liked what he was doing and the way that he was moving. And he was giving you the fights that he's won and he was taking on the challenges and he wasn't scared. People are a fan of that, but ain't nobody ever talked about, oh my God, AJ is just phenomenal. It ain't no, not one person, myself included, has ever said that. So to say that he's overrated, I'm sorry, you faking the funk, you playing the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that shouldn't even be in the same sentence. AJ and overrated win. You know what I'm saying? Y'all first had to love him and appreciate him first. And that, so far, thus far, hasn't happened. So, anyways, that's my thoughts on that. Like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Vane, I'm out.